I investigate uh, the lung disease tuberculosis or TB. It's a deadly disease and it kills about one in two people that we don't treat. Worldwide it infects about one third of people of the world so clinically so it's about two billion people. In New Zealand um, I would estimate about 300 people a year would uh, require treatment for TB which is a low number but it's a highly infectious disease so it's something we really have to control. I look at uh, new antibiotics against TB and antibiotics are our way of, of fighting bacteria uh, bacteria can evolve around antibiotics, so we continuously have to develop new ones. And my job is to take compounds that people create and test them against tuberculosis. It's going really well. We're getting lots of compounds in from our collaborators and we're finding lots of compounds that are active against TB, but it will take many years for those to reach the market. With TB, to actually stop resistance, we treat patients now with two to four drugs over six months. And that's a short course of antibiotics. Uh, if you had a drug resistant form, you're looking at taking antibiotics for about two years. So we need new drugs to fit into the ones we have, hopefully to shorten those regimes, but also to combat drug resistance. And the other thing as well is that uh, TB can interact with other diseases such as HIV. And when you combine HIV and TB, you get an incredibly bad disease that can be fatal within weeks. So we need drugs that work against TB, but also don't hinder the drugs that work against HIV, which is the case at the moment.